Go ahead. Why doesn't the Torah say what it means? We're coming up to the holiday of Shavuot, which is Zman Matan Torah Tenu, the holiday in which the Torah was given to the Jewish people. And we know that Shavuot is the holiday in which the Torah was given to the Jewish people. We know it from tradition. We know it from the text of the Talmud. We know it from the text of our prayers. But the one place that it never mentions that Shavuot was a holiday in which the Torah was given to the Jewish people is the Tanakh. Not once in Tanakh is there a mention of the fact that Shavuot is man matan Torah tenu, that Shavuot is the holiday in which the Torah was given. It is hinted at, there are allusions, the Talmud understands it from inferences and intuition and interpretations, but not once is it explicitly stated in the Torah. And the question we have to ask is, why doesn't the Torah say what it means? Why is it never explicitly mentioned in the Torah that Shavuot is the holiday in which the Torah was given? And I think the answer is simple. There's no comparison between what you see and what you seek. The Torah was given to us at Mount Sinai. The Jews stood back and they were passive. They viewed, they saw, and that's wonderful because at some point in the experience you have to be overwhelmed just by a powerful vision. But for every generation forward, what the Torah is expecting is that all of us seek revelation because there's no comparison between what you see and what you seek. When you sit back and you're just a viewer, you are passive. When every time you have to see something dramatic and exceptional, like the moment of revelation, if every time in your life the only things you believe in are overwhelming revelations and experiences, then ultimately you will become desensitized to the beauty of revelation itself. There's no comparison between what you seek and what you see. If the Torah demands of us to search and to look beyond the superficial and look beyond the first glance in order to figure out that Shavuot is a holiday with another dimension, that Shavuot is the holiday of revelation, the Torah is actually teaching us something very powerful about revelation. Revelation is most powerful when you seek it, when you search for it, when you pursue it, when you explore for it, that's when revelation really counts. If you have to sit back and expect revelation to come to you, you will never truly understand what is revealed to you. And this is the lesson of Matan Torah, and this is the lesson of Shavuot. There is no comparison between what you seek and what you see. What you seek truly has a, a meaning and importance to you. What you see, you sit back and just experience passively. I learned this particular truth recently at a Sudat Hoda'a, a Thanksgiving meal that was given by a friend of mine. He had unfortunately endured a serious health problem, a scare that he was unprepared for. And in his words that he spoke at this particular Thanksgiving meal, he made it extremely clear that he didn't see any coincidences in what had occurred to him, that had something gone a little bit differently the outcome could, outcome could have been quite tragic. And in his words, he made it very clear that he understood that there are no coincidences. That behind what apparently just seemed like good luck was actually the hand of God. And this is precisely the lesson of Shavuot. There's no comparison between what you seek and what you see. Sometimes what we see at a superficial glance is luck and coincidence. But when we go beneath the surface, when we seek, we truly find revelation. We truly see the miracles that are all around us in our lives. And that is the lesson of Shavuot. Thank you, Rabbi.